first recording 2022. Bra bra. Yo, 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 yo. What's going on? This is the NRW Nerds Rule the World. Your boy, Kuya P. First recording of 2022. <laughs> you see them on the screen. The homies are back with me. Uh, first up, the man who's so cool from You're So Cool with Rob Medina. It's Rob Medina. What's good, Rob? All is good, man. I'm just excited to be doing this here with you all for the first video of 2022. So yes, let's get to this, man. Hell yeah. And of course, we can't do this until we're leveled up by the blurred dad himself, my brother from another mother, who hopefully won't have further technical difficulties. My man, Glenn Lawrence. What's good, Glenn? What's going on, brother? I want to be where you are right now. You got the palm hey, trees and the, the and mindset the, right now. The that's what, that's ah. what's going on right now. <laughs> yeah. yes. all, we're, all, we're, all we're missing is the uh, the waves crashing sound. That's all we need. You know, mm. I, I'm to, to, for all those that are well, when you all see this, because uh, y'all are probably in the same conditions that I am. It's snowing outside, or at least it was, uh, at least in the D.C. area. Uh, we got like mad snow. We actually in my area got 15 inches. Uh, took out quite a few trees on my block. Oh, they, wow. they, didn't, they weren't able to plow our streets until like two days after. Uh, the whole highway, I-95, got shut down. Oh, uh, yeah. Was that shut down area. by you? Yes. yes how, my just exit, exit. Both north and southbound was closed for over 20-something, 20 24 hours, I think. And was there were people days? that were in their cars for that long as well. It was You were home, insane. though, right? You were safe. Yeah, I stayed home. I wasn't going to fuck with it. Oh, I was man. supposed to go to the office. I was like, nah, I'm taking another day. Ended up taking three days out. Damn. Well, you know? it's supposed to snow tonight, too. So And yeah, as of this yeah. recording, supposed to snow again. And I told my colleagues, y'all might not see me tomorrow if it because it wasn't supposed to be as bad when they predicted that. Today, they're predicting not so bad snow, but it was supposed to not be bad the other day when it shut us down. So well, how many inches you guys expecting? I may not see me. Uh, say what? How many inches you guys expecting to be dropping tonight? Tonight, I think it's supposed to snow from like 11 a.m. or 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. Um, and I think they're predicting five to six in my area mm. to add with the snow already on the ground mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. ice yeah, and yeah. snow and all that. So we'll Man, see. I'm but, the, uh, I'm, yeah, so this is my mindset. So that's that's why you see this. <laughs> I'm, 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 here, I'm here in NC right now. And I have, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love snow, but I only love snow. If there's no problems to be dealing with after the fact. But yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, I mean there's, it's raining over here. And then it, boom, it just dropped. It stopped. No snow, no, none of that other, uh, war, uh, was it um, forecast warning, none of that stuff. So I'm in a position where I haven't had to deal with that in what, over five years now. So there's something I'm to be good. said about that. Lucky but, uh, you. I, I, I feel you. Like I like the seasons, but there's yeah. something to be said about not having to deal with this. It's How just about the traffic, you, Were you man. hit a bad where yeah. you're at in here in Northern VA? Uh, so I'm in Arlington and it seems like Arlington doesn't get hit that bad, but this time it actually was as bad as they we're projecting. I think the problem, this happens like once every four or five years because mm -hmm. they always project a lot of snow and then we don't get it. So then people don't believe it when they do get, uh, when we do get a lot of snow. And that's what this was. People didn't believe it because we never get as much as they say we're going to get. Yeah. So no one believed it. And now everybody got stuck out in the fucking, oh, excuse me, out in the, uh, <laughs> out in the snow. It was, it was bad. Yeah. So yeah, it was crazy here. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, it's 2022, y'all. Our, our first recording back. Um, this is supposed bang. to be our regular weekly show, but we're kind of recording this later in the week as, as normal. We generally do this on a Monday. So we're kind of doing it on a Thursday. So we're going to kind of intermingle our regular weekly shit and, as, long, as well as our 2022 uh, interests uh, with what's coming out soon. So uh, I'm going to run through just the weekly shit real quick uh, since I'm making this part of the playlist for, for that. And then we'll just go into our 2020, 2022 uh projections are what we're looking forward to y'all ready to go over this real quick what's coming Let's out it's a very short it. list. Dude, all right man. so uh new video games dropping this week uh there's only one on this list deep rock galactic uh we're gonna go ahead and just check out this trailer for it let me uh get this deep queued rock up galactic. and we're gonna check out this uh trailer for the only film dropping this first week of uh 2022 let's sounds let's like a porn game in here. <laughs> and let's let's head off to the deep rock galactic here we go guys Violence. Looks like a FPS. I think this is coming to your uh, PlayStation as well, by the way. So you PlayStation owners. Can y'all see it? On I can see it. Yeah, I can. Good, yeah. 
Okay. Oh, uh, so it's like a little upgraded Minecraft. It's yeah, that's, what it, that's, what it's, that's exactly what I was thinking too. Yeah. Yeah, I see what you got. Yeah, kind of got Minecraft. that vibe. A little bit of aliens. I'd probably be more interested in playing this than actual Minecraft. You know what? I'm with you on that. This actually looks kind of dope. I like the FPS nature. I just wonder what's the uh, what's the angle. It looks like you can destroy the entire environment. Yeah. Oh, you got a little grappling hook. It's kind of neat. Hanging it's like mixtures of new shit, new shit type of stuff in old yeah. school. Yeah. Like it, like, like it. Oh, like gold? Okay. That's all gold. Look like it, you know. It's a buy to upgrade your equipment. It's kind of dope. Rock and, stone. and you know we're kind of like you know we're, we're kind of geezers when it comes to when we watch video game stuff. Yeah. So this actually is got me intrigued. I will say though, for those watching, I'm, I'm as, thinking as about we like have been Mario. geezers on gameplay stuff, I am trying to get a separate team to cover gameplay like this. Because I think Rob and Glenn and, and uh, myself and Loy on occasion when we do these gameplay stuff, we're not we're not too heavy into it. Yeah. But, uh, we're not yeah, doing I'm, these I'm guys <laughs> Work hard on yeah. this stuff. I, I got a switch, by the way. When? Just now? Uh, yeah, not too long ago. I got a switch. Okay. I got that. What, when, it, when did it come out? 2012? No, no. Well, I got it for Steph. I got the big with the OELD. Okay. So, uh, would you play this on your Switch then, Glenn? Yeah, it looks fun. It looks like a yeah. Switch game. All right, is this enough gameplay for you guys? Good yeah. On All right. Yeah. It got me was the last thing it said there. It got me. <laughs> it looks cool. Looks cool. Um, it, it, it's actually, it's funny that we're going to kind of end off our game combos. Because like I said, I want to get a separate team in to talk about, you know, these video game stuff. Yes. But uh, I, I'm intrigued by this one. How about you guys? Meh. Not really. <laughs> so this is why we're getting a whole. This is why team. we need some 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 young blood to get into this here. Because, yeah, uh, I think if I can find some young teenage cats that that you know that are more the gamers, uh, we're well, we're all know, old curmudgeons. Not to be ages. Know, right? Maybe there's you know elder statesmen that are about the games, but I just, just know that's statesman. not us anymore. Right? <laughs> <a> statesman. Elder <laughs> statesmen. What do we got? Some ambassadors. Some diplomats. Hey, I'm, just, I'm showing love without being disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so funny. <laughs> I felt like I cut cut. Uh, you know, I, I I sounded ages when I said teenagers, so I wanted oh, to bring I see it what back you're saying. to okay. love. So uh, you know that you can't discriminate against younger people. Like ageism is only discriminating against the old. You know what? Really? You might be right on that, Glenn. I yeah, didn't even like, know that. Yeah. Legally, I am so out of the loop. <laughs> legally, <laughs> you can only discriminate upwards. I what's the that. What's the age? Eighteen and over? No, like after forty, I think. Ah, really? Interesting. Yeah, I got better ways to go then. <laughs> <laughs> screaming out you, you want guys no. <laughs> but way to rub it in <laughs> <laughs> all right guys you ready to talk about what films are dropping this week absolutely let's, let's get it all right we have the super deep coming to video on demand digital four to dinner is coming to netflix nationwide releases the 355 mm. uh limited releases a hero as well as june again we have on video on demand and digital american siege with bruce willis Unlimited release is King Car and C for Me, as well as the Commando and the Kindred and the Legend of La Larona. La Rona, right? Which yeah, one? What La is Rona. it, Rob? La, La Remember, La two Rona. L's make a Y, so it's, it's, you got to make it sound like a Y. So it's La, Rona. La, La Rona. 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 Okay. Are you scared? Are you scared, Rob? Were you scared no. of that back in the day? <laughs> Fuck no, I was not scared no. of that. What? No, actually, I take that back. No, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I'm lying. Yes, I was scared when I was a kid. I was like. I was very, uh, um, I was very aware of who she was and how I was scared shitless. But I've never actually, you know, I was never like invested like to know more about it. But hearing what I've heard when I was a kid, it scared me. She's right behind you. Cue up. You know what that reminds me? I need to cue up the music video I did that I'm in about Lala Yorona to for you to see. There you go. And see what you guys think about it. What about you, Patrick? Did you did, was that in your childhood? Because I had never nah, heard of it. Because I'm because I'm now. Filipino. That's that, that total different. Uh, total different <laughs> vibe. Okay. Different vibe. I I heard of it though. You know. Yeah. Because, I didn't yeah. hear about it until the movie came out, and then I was like, Oh, oh really? okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Like, so uh, let's uh, actually check out. In the, in the black family, we don't have those. We just like 
cops are what we're scared of and <laughs> we're just scared of white all... people <laughs> hey man <laughs> like we don't need to make up the boogeyman or anything it's just like it's john no, it's this life can be scary bro like <laughs> all pocs man but yo let's yeah. let's check out that live yorona trailer i'm the legend of yorona mess this up completely now uh let's go ahead and check out that trailer you guys ready yeah yeah all right here we go la y- yorona <laughs> Here we go. Everyone in Mexico knows story, but it's no lie. Jorona. I think Danny Trejo's That's in this, right, Rob? I have no idea who's in this movie. Okay. I just, I literally just heard about this film, actually today, quite oh, really? literally. Okay. Yeah. yeah Welcome Danny to Mexico, mi amigo. There he no, is. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. And I thought, I thought it was a pleasure. sequel to La Llorona. Bienvenidos. We just Not. needed to get away for a while. Who's that? So this has nothing to do with the curse house. of La Llorona that came No, no, because that's a WB See, movie. This is not. Okay. This is Saban films, or Saban films, rather. Which are the Power Rangers people. Yeah, they, yeah they're the guys that did Power Rangers. Mm. No, no thank Daddy! you. <laughs> La Llorona! Lenny about Llorona? the horror films. What does it want with my son? That's right. Ah! What? What who? Uh, Did you ever see that other film, Rob? The the the, the one from the W. Of, the other one. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, it was all right. It wasn't that bad. Okay. This looks very indie. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's not really doing it for me. She's coming. The Legend of La Llorona. I don't want her to take me. Whoa. There we go. Yeah, it's not really doing it for me, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah. they need to recut that trailer. That's what needs to happen. There was something about that trailer that wasn't it had it. It had all the elements of like yeah, oh, de- yeah, creepy. I see what you're saying. I think but you're right. Like um, at the end, it's just some dude like La Llorona coming to <laughs> theater near you. <laughs> that you know, that was funny because uh with the the curse La Llorona, uh, well, I'm, now I'm just gonna say like you guys. Um <laughs> yeah, the curse right. La Llorona was well, I was thinking like if they're gonna because that was one of my biggest problems of man i'm gonna fucking hear yorona yorona let me say it right I mean, that's just me <laughs> being biased because of my that's culture. my how do, you fault, brother. how do you say it la yorona yorona la yorona yeah pretty you're actually yeah. on point it actually but, sounds so, kind of sexy <laughs> can you imagine it's like oh la yorona's here yeah come over here no and it's like hey babe it's no, like yo but, yo chill babe chill <laughs> you ain't gotta be so angry no but you know when i when i saw the trailer for the first one though the 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 wb film i remember saying like they better have a guy who can say it correctly and they go curse of la Llorona. i was like oh god i want to hear this shit the whole time no fuck that but you know the movie that movie was okay it was actually not bad i actually thought it was pretty good this yeah. on the other hand doesn't really do it for me i think you're right they should re-edit that more atmospheric rather than just more jump scares and a bunch of other yeah nonsense. Like you had, like I th- you're both right. I think you had the elements. It just it, it's a bad edit, bad trailer. Yeah, yeah. trailer so, kind of left a little to be desired. Just yeah. a little, it, it's just like, yeah. eh. I, like I was scared at first. I was like, oh, oh. And it, was and like, it oh. looks like a decent film. It looks like even though it's very independent looking too, mm-hmm. it still looks halfway decent. And with the people involved, and it looks like the story might actually be decent. Yeah, I think so, you're right. But yeah, let's, the trailer is good justice. Editing that's that edited the trailer. Yeah. So speaking of which, that actually gave me a little bit of time. Uh, do you want to see my actual appearance in a in a music video for La Llorona? Of course we do. Yes. I brought it up quick. <laughs> I haven't shared much of my acting with you guys. Yeah, so this was actually a, a music video for a, a film about Rock Creek uh, Park that's in D.C. Mm. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, so that. they did a music video, and uh, it's a narrative story music video uh, that I'm the character you follow. But I'll, I'll stop talking. I'll let you guys see it. Tell me what, what, what kind of what kind of what kind of music are we going to be listening to? It's a it's, uh, Spanish hip hop, I guess. You want us That's to be really honest or you just want us to be. Uh, yeah, be honest. With- <laughs> yeah. OK, y- 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 y'all can be real talk. I I just got okay. paid to be in the music video and, and be the lead. So I was like, fuck it. You know, oh, why yeah. not? You know, I'm an okay. actor. Okay. Let's so see here it. Go, guys. Let's- <laughs> here we go. Check it out. Uh, La Llorona, is it playing? Yeah. OK. La, La Llorona. Like Rock Rock here we Creek. go. Pero, Ooh, I like this already. Yeah. And That's we actually like filmed this at Rock Creek Park. There's uh, La Llorona. Ooh. I like the beat. I will say that. Yes. Okay. That. 
Look, look at Young Me. Oh, hey. What? Oh, look my God. Me was. I know, right? Such a baby face there. Baby face, bro. That dude's so good. <laughs> Rock Creek boy. Wait, was that someone screaming in the background? Yeah, yeah. It's part of the music. Too. I do like the beat. Right? I think it's got yeah. a decent beat to it. Yeah. So if you listen to it, I'm basically... Well, you, you, you can hear it. And that's actually why you're one of the passes by right here. Okay. Yeah. It's like I've been stalked by her. Essentially. And what's the name of this rapper again? Cero? I think. Yeah, so so C E E R O? C E R O. I believe. I can't remember. I think that's why I saw my opening credits. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah I think I saw it too. Yeah. Yeah. Were you still in the military at that time? No. Okay. I think I was like. This is like three years after I've been out. Like Look 2003, three, uh, 2004. You looked like a service man. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby, I'm home. I just think it's so odd that a, a military man's in the woods after La Llorona. I, just, I, I basically like I think my character matter. falls in love with her. Okay. She falls in love with La Llorona. Or she, 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 I don't know. I can't remember the whole plot. It's in the lyrics. Apparently. I would only cut out that scene in the moonlight with the trees. I don't know what that one's about. Yeah. But it might come into play later. They're trying to be artistic. <laughs> I like it. Uh, I like it. That's but the, yeah, that, I, it makes me, yeah. makes me not think, like everything else I think is great. Yeah, yeah there's some good elements to move if there's a uh, video on I'd be curious if y'all just listen to it or you rock because you know something like this, Spanish. I don't know. I, the lyrics to it. I didn't dissect it. It's been so long. I'm sending out a tutorial. Was she barefoot for real? talking English. Was she barefoot for real? No. No, she's barefoot right now. Yeah, she looks barefoot, man. Was she? Yeah, she looks barefoot. Oh, yeah, this bro. is dope. I can see you know I, really I, I don't know. I wouldn't want to be. That shit, I was wearing boots in that shit. The woods. Oh, Patrick gave her the look that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then she pushes me. Back. He basically kills oh, me there. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Every romance ends that way. <laughs> oh, it's like, man. I fell in love with Lolly Rona and then she kills me. It's like she haunted me or something I think is the story. That's so but. funny. Yeah. <laughs> Creative, bro. Hey, I was just the actor net. And there she is. Oh, hey. Look Ready to haunt people again. Oh, uh, you ain't gonna listen to your own song, bro. Bro, I, I was just an actor, here, bro. <laughs> oh, I thought was, I thought she had your head for a second. Yo, she's still acting. Her? I don't know. Yeah. I haven't talked. I, I I was just the actor, bro. They hired us both. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, man. There you go. <laughs> mm, interesting. I haven't seen Shame that in fucking forever. Shameless dude. plug. It deserved it. I love it. <laughs> Shameless. S so that was good, Kuya P. Though, like to see you back in the day, you know what I yeah, mean? Nice. Yeah, I, I, that part I appreciated. Yeah, the song, the song itself wasn't bad. It was actually not. It's actually pretty catchy. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. I, I didn't like the way the 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 the, the, the whole La like, Yorona thing was handled there. Not because I have against something I mean, against the way it was put. They didn't, they didn't keep it true to it. It's just that I thought they were going to be like putting on makeup on her when she's La Yorona. It was just. Just oh yeah, her. yeah, yeah. Do something. That's what I was like. Yeah, it just like, like she's just yeah. some cute chick who just <laughs> she just killed you because you yeah. wouldn't let her borrow let her borrow your boots. She used the force on you. Fall like, in love with the hotness. The, the bulge. She's really a killer though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I guess, but yeah, man. <laughs> well, I'll kick your coverage. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. So I'm gonna make a transition from military to the to a military style film. Y'all ready to check out this next trailer? Yeah. The oh. Commando with Michael Jai White. Oh, Stop. is this Commando? Yes. No, no, no. The Commando. James Baker, yeah. Another Saban yeah, film. Sa so Saban dropping two films this week. Yes, I like it. But wait, is, this isn't uh, like a remake yeah, of yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger's good. Commando. I don't think it's Arnold's. No, I don't think so. Yeah. If his daughter gets kidnapped, it definitely is. So much better <laughs> right? I found something in my room. You found all of that money? We have to tell mom and dad. You don't know who this money is. Yo, that's knows. the same girl from the Yow the Rona thing. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it's Mickey Rourke. Oh, maybe oh, I'm Mickey's in his junk. 
he get more work done? Let's go. We got some business to take. Yeah, he did. You know what? Yeah, like a pretty lady. Where is it? Our old house. He's a legend, though, bro. He is a legend. He's a good actor. I don't think we would really give him a lot of credit as of late. But he's still Did a good you ever see The Wrestler, bro? Wrestler was yeah, fantastic. That's a great that's movie. Great. Yeah. Put one hand on my daughters. Now make sure you die. You're just going to have exactly to Michael. join them, boy. What are we going to do? Also, it's no Michael worry. versus I'm Mickey. For this. Okay. Enough with the kids. Mickey yeah. versus Mike. Yeah. That should be the title of the movie right there. Right? That would have been. That would have been more interesting than Commander. Yeah. Michael Jai White versus Mickey. You gotta go. I'm in. I'm interested in this movie. I'm a big you know, fan of Michael Jai White. So. Yeah. Yo, have you ever seen an interview with Michael Jai White? Have I seen an interview with him? Yeah. Yeah. Like, 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 how he came up or whatever, how he grew up. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He's he, was a, he was in Toxic <laughs> Avenger too. He was actually uh, an actor. Then he became like a stunt coordinator on there, mm. among many other things. Like he was like. He started like what was it like 17, 8, 19, something like that when he was yeah something mad there. young. No, I'm talking yeah. about his life before he started acting. He was just oh, like yeah, a yeah. really violent dude. Like he just yeah. uh, like he didn't know why. He just had this all this rage, and he yeah. was literally the type of dude like you know how some people want to go out and like go drink or something or go skit ladies. He like wanted to go out to fight all the time. Like that yeah. was just his, he was that guy. You know what yeah. I mean? Like standing off in the side who just wanted yeah. to fight. Yeah. Uh, and he just like he just had that in him and he said what changed his life is that he like i think he was driving by somewhere or he, or he took like oh, a wrong turn and then he he was in like a really nice suburban neighborhood and then he just saw a couple walking into yeah. a house that was really nice and was like i want that yeah. <laughs> and then he just changed his life around to like try to get that it's a pretty crazy story but he has yeah. some great stories about just you know himself and like you know shit that he's yeah. been through he's he's like a real life there's certain yeah. people who are like real live cats who like they can do all the stuff in the movies but in real life they used to fuck people up too yeah, yeah bro you know now i like that you said that that i actually have connections to him so fingers crossed uh Dude, i'll see if i can't make that happen since you reminded love, me of that I, i've been oh. wanting to talk to him for so, a while we, can, can i sit in on it with you can, michael I, yeah can I hang out with you, Rob? If you get that interview, can I? Fuck can I, yeah, you can absolutely. Yeah, for the, for all of us, so we can all kind of you know yeah. do it together, man. He, he, no, he has, but he has so yeah. many movies. Like I would feel yeah. bad because I'm like I haven't seen all your movies, but you have so many movies. But the ones yeah. that I have seen, I love everything. What was the what was? There's another one that he had. It's like the Falcon or something like Falcon that. Falcon Rising. Yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah. Neil McDonough's in that movie too. Yeah, he's got We're so just, many great like just like low budget films that are dope and then when he gets big budget ones i'm just like yes like yeah yeah he should be top billing he should get top billing but yeah he should be a bigger star than he yeah. is you yeah. know what they i'm don't, saying they don't actually he when is he coming to marvel bro like when well, who is right? he gonna play? i would love to see him you know you know what i can't think of who he could be he could have, you know, honestly, able. back in the day, if they done, if they've done like Black Panther, like way back in the day, I could have seen yeah. him easily become Black. What about Panther. what about Cable? You think he'd be a good Cable? Yes, I think he would be a good Cable. I think he'd be a great Cable. You know, yeah, if they, yeah, changed him up, you know, yeah, yeah, but I think he would be a good Cable. Yeah. What do you mean, like? I don't up think he'd we... be a good Black Panther because I. No, I'm talking about way back in the day. Yeah, back in the nineties, yeah, like he'd be who they would cast yeah. back in the yeah. day. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know. Um, but now I think they they went the right, right approach. But if I was to change him and like with what you're saying, Glenn, I think yeah, Cable would be great as yeah. well. Hmm. But now you got me thinking, who would he be good to? I think he would have been a good Rhodes uh, outside of you know Don what. Beetle. If they re, they should redo Taskmaster. He would be a great Taskmaster. Oh fuck oh, yes, yes, that's <laughs> a fuck good, yes. good. Yes. Like if they re, awesome. I know they have yeah. it like where it's the chick and the whatever. Yeah. But a, he yeah. would have been a great Taskmaster. I would prefer that. I would, I would prefer that over Cable. I would definitely yeah. prefer Taskmaster. I agree with you on that, yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, you ready to, to finish up these so we can get into 2022 convo? Yeah. Let's right, do the, it. The last film uh, trailer we're going to watch, the biggest film dropping this week. And I had the pleasure of watching, and I was hoping I could get Rob and Glenn to watch it with me so we could do a review. So I'm hoping they can catch it on their own time so we can do a review. Uh, mm -hmm. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's called The 355. Let's check it out. <gasps> Oh, I wanted to see this. I'm excited. Yeah. They told us about in training. Sebastian Stan, okay. About George Washington's first female spy during the revolution. They called her Agent 355 because they didn't want the world to know her real name. 
but her legacy lives on. Ida Nyong'o, Diane Kruger, and Bean Fon, Sebastian Stan, and Amazing. American, British, German. So it's like an action Columbia, thriller? Kind of cruise, yeah. Now the cruise line, okay. But now yeah. we have a common. Edgar Ramirez? Yeah, they can start World War yeah. III. From simple reach of their keyboard. So we need to join forces. It's like half the CIA's most wanted. Always such a tough guy. I'm not an agent, I'm a therapist. They thought I would give you my secrets. Do you have secrets? We put ourselves in danger so that others are not. Oh, I know that chick. That's uh, I'll handle Bing, 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 Bing. Bing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you in therapy? I should be. The interview I was supposed to have two days idea. ago, but if you, you have cameras in through. your jewelry, comms in your earrings, you bump, I grab. The target is on the move. You're not going in there alone. We go together. I have a family. I cannot do this anymore. The bad guys are out there right now. You go home, you bring them with you. Are you under control? Are you? No. Black cars, all black, everything. I've got four more agents out on the street. I counted six, but thanks for the tip. I like the new team. We're the 355. I'm actually intrigued with this one. There you go, gentlemen. Sounds fun. I was really hoping my screener link would still work so I could have shared it with you guys and we could have reviewed it, but alas, it it it, it already closed up. Well, it's off, it's out tomorrow, right? Where's it out? Yes. Yeah, it's so out if tomorrow. you guys check it out, we can maybe do a review. Is it on Netflix? Weekend. No, it's gonna be a theatrical release. Yeah, yeah, theaters. So you said it's actually a good film, yeah? It's great. I, I enjoyed it. I really okay. enjoyed it. It was the first nice. film of 2022 I think I watched. You, you know what uh, annoys me is uh, when they put too much of what's in the film in the cre- in the uh, trailer. Yeah, I got um, the same feeling. I'm too. with you on that. Um, yeah, there's sequences that aren't in that trailer. Well, there's some elements from uh, the film that it didn't give away. There, there's some surprises, right? Okay. Yes. And there's a, an amazing sequence that really sold me on. There's actually there's a couple thinking about it now. So uh, are there's, there, some good mo- there's some couple sequences in film that were really good moments that made me love the film. Are the there three? Scenes. Or are there five? Three or, or five? five. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and you said a couple. I and that I said three. Until just now. <laughs> it took me a half second to catch what you were trying to fucking say there. That's Glenn, so Glenn Lawrence, ladies and gentlemen. Glenn Lawrence. Glenn, Glenn Lawrence, gentlemen. <laughs> <That's> stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I do Bob <laughs> Mix. <Mets. laughs> no, I was going to ask you. Level of comedy, Glenn Lawrence. I was going to ask you, uh, are what the up? action scenes good? I Yes. There's okay. this really cool sequence that I think... Uh, that only women i think you know how like again we do like men and female i think they did this really cool sequence that they that was pulled off very well in that i don't want to sound sexist but i think only uh it's i, I feel like i'm going to sound sexist with what i with my statement here just keep so it i'm real, trying to be man. careful just keep it real dude keep it real that they did this this thing i, I just that it, it was more smarts than brawn you know what i'm saying with a lot of action films, we see more brawn, you know, because it's mm-hmm. male oriented. Mm-hmm. Here, they showed the intelligence by utilizing these women, um, mm-hmm. and I what they what could okay. do in a way. You know what I'm saying? That just to me gave a whole other element that made it refreshing. You know what I I'm like saying? It. There's a I sequence like that I don't want to give away the film uh, or give any spoilers. That there's a couple. Actually, there's a couple of them that I think were brilliantly done that should surprise me. I like it. I'm sad that you had to get canceled for that statement, but I like it. Dude. I'm ready. I'm <laughs> Sorry. Kuya P will no longer be with us. Uh, he was canceled for a sexist statement on the 355. Yep. Saying women are smart. <laughs> great film. Great cast. I'm super sad. I was supposed to talk, to talk with Bing Bing Fan. Uh, it was set up like in November and there were emails back and forth. It was all set up, but then it fell through. Uh, I'm still trying to work it though, so yeah. stay tuned. Uh, I have connections with everybody involved on the production, so I, I like her. I She's really that good. Interview. Uh, uh, yeah, I just I know that they already did interviews with Sebastian and uh, and Jessica um, the other day, 
and but the Bing Bing fan, I don't know if she wasn't available, but like, yeah, because I don't think from all my other press friends, I don't think anybody else talked with Bing Bing. So yeah, I think there's, there's so much going on, though. but there's a lot going on in the world. So hopefully, fingers crossed. Uh, but it's a great film. And uh, if you guys catch nice. it, we'd love to do a review with you guys. On Ooh, it. Nice. I was hoping that the link would still work so we could, I could actually send it to you. I'm with it. Yeah, don't worry. So, hey, uh, but uh, we'll, we'll be able to to check it out. It seems like it'll be in theaters for a little bit. So, yeah. yeah. Hopefully it'll All be right, good. So, Hopefully it's a good uh, film overall. That was uh, the list of uh, films coming out this week, y'all. But now we're going to talk 2020, 2022 uh, and new films dropping uh, and new things coming out this week. Who wants to lead us off? Anything uh, you guys uh, just offhand? Uh, I got a little bit of a list in front of me if you want me to read off some titles. Uh, I have the list. Are you guys going with what's coming out this week? or I'm talking about, I'm we just stick went with over what came out this coming week. Out this We're talking year about for, for me, this whole year. Like, what, are, what are you looking... What's your top... I guess, what's your top three or top five of mm. uh, films dropping this year that you're super excited about? Uh, I, I'll, I'll go. go, ahead, um, go ahead. I'm very excited about all the Blacks. Uh, Black Adam, Black Panther... <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm excited Man, about Glenn, go ahead, brother. I'm excited about the black. Um, um, the be- I'm I'm super excited oh, about so this is the one that's probably a shocker. I'm super excited for Sonic Two. Like probably the too. most excited about a movie uh, this year, Sonic Two. <laughs> Interesting. Um, and uh, there, there's a lot. There's um, uh, Morbius that looks like it's going to be good. Of course, all the Marvel stuff that's going to be coming out is always great. And I'm I'm a little bit intrigued about this Uncharted uh, with Tom Holland. That, Were you big into the game? Did you? Play yeah, it? I played. I played it a little bit. I played it just a just enough to care, you know, about uh, it coming up. Yeah. So um, so there's that, and then um, uh, Lightyear. Oh, and Into the Spider Verse. There's so many. There's. Yeah. I, I'm, I feel like I'm ta- I'm stepping on people's toes, but um, no, there's. I'm, I'll just I'll I'll sum it up. The Blacks, Black Adam, Black Panther. <laughs> Uh, I keep saying that. <laughs> Sonic. <laughs> I think that's so hilarious, Glenn. Sonic. Uh, and then uh, I'll say um, Avatar. How about that? That'll be yeah, the that'll Avatar be the ones too. I'll go with. All right, yeah. first first drop for Avatar. Okay. Yeah, Avatar two. All right, I feel that, and uh, yeah, and we can, and if uh, after we do do do, do uh, go through some of this, if there's any a trailer that's available for any of these and we want to check it out together we can do that as well oh. so uh let me throw it back to you now rob what are you excited with uh so glenn actually got a good chunk of what i wanted to check out too as well because uh, most of it most of the top films that i wanted to see are definitely like the the superhero movies like the batman is definitely one of the top ones for me aquaman's coming out this year as well too the oh, flash yeah. the flash is coming out uh what else so we you mentioned morbius which i'm I want to see it, but it's not like my top, you know, superhero film I want to see this year. But it's definitely one I want to check out. Uh, you mentioned Black Adam, uh, Wakanda, uh, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. I'm very curious on how they're going to pull that one. That, if there's if there's one movie that I'm ext- and most intrigued with, it's mainly out of curiosity. It's it's that movie, considering you know what happened to Chadwick Boseman, how they're going to be handling that story altogether. And the fallout with Lupita, the film. that fallout. Or was it Lupita, Lupita or is it uh who no, was the other young lady? No, it wasn't no, Lupita. It, no, no, it was, no. Uh, um, it was the one that plays his sister. Uh, I forgot her name. Uh, Ke- um, no, not Keisha. Um, <laughs> ah, I forgot her name, but uh, yeah, she, my tongue. I, but didn't they get that sorted out though? It was, wasn't that all resolved? No, I think she was totally dropped. Letitia Wright. Letitia Wright. Yeah. I thought she was sorted out with uh, with that being. Uh, I think they let her go. No, really? no, I don't think they ever said they let her She's go. Still listed now. Yeah. Um. Oh no, she got injured. That's what happened. She got injured, but then she didn't want to come back. I there was that report. That. I, don't, I need to check out what the last I need to do some searching real quick. But yeah, there was a problem on set. She got injured and then she didn't want to come back. Was it because of COVID? Uh, no, I think uh, it's the I think they went. They right? had like vaccine mandates or whatever. That's what it was. That's what I remember on. hearing. But uh, yeah, yeah, because she's she's an anti-vaxxer. Yeah, I don't think she's an anti-vaxxer though. We had this discussion before. We won't go into it again. I yeah, just think take us I think you can question realm. things without being anti. Yeah, it's possible. I feel the on that claim. Um. <laughs> That's so a whole was, combo in its own. It's What's a whole it? combo in itself. <laughs> at what point are you not allowed to question things? You know? Yeah, yeah, true. So Black Adam for me. Uh, what else? Uh, Sonic 2. Man, I'm excited for that one as well. Uh, Avatar as well. I'm also getting I want to check out. And uh, so there's an there's also another movie that I've been hearing about for a long time that I'm really, really excited because I'm a, I'm a big fan of the actor, the director. 
Uh, and I found out some of the people that are also in the movie too, that I'm also big fans of as well. One of which I actually spoke with uh, the last year uh, on my show. Um, and that's, it's a movie called War Horse One. Some people may think I'm crazy for this year, but I, for me, that is actually my most anticipated movie because I love wow. hearing underdog stories. You know, like, like I, I like to root for the little guys. Yeah. That movie to me is like, is like uh, the film that I know a lot of people may overlook just because of the, the, all the other films that are coming out this year. And, oh. you know, my experience with the director's uh, films have always been nothing but positive for the most part. So I have high hopes for this movie. And I'm hoping that this will be the film that everyone's going to be like, holy fuck, you know, fuck Batman right now. You should check out this movie. That's what I hope will happen with this one that's going to be coming out. And it has, there's no release date for that as of yet, but I do know that it's expected to be releasing sometime in the summer. Last I heard, but that's, you know, still up in the air at this time. So I'm really, really excited for that movie. So that's actually my top of the year for me personally. All right. And we're actually going to check that trailer out because uh, Robbie sent that over. So I'll have that. Yeah. Queued up so I'm curious to hear trailers. you guys thoughts on this one. Yeah. Um, so real quick, uh, I, I have a couple questions before I kind of give a little bit more of a list and then we can check out certain trailers for, for some of these. Um, uh, one of the questions I had is uh, we, we all brought up uh, the Marvel films that I think we're all yeah. highly anticipating uh, and then as well as the DC films. So with that being said, uh, who do you think is going to, my question to you both is with the, I think there's th one, two, three, we have Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, Love Thor, Thor, Love and Thunder, mm -hmm. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness against for DC, Black Adam, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom uh, and the Flash and, and the, the Batman. Batman. Yeah. Who do you think is going to win out with uh, with those four on Marvel side and, th and that four on the DC side? Who do you think is going to be the bigger player this year, DC versus Marvel? I'm going to go for with DC. That, with, that, with that grouping of films. I'm going to go with DC. You think DC is going to find... I hope, I hope DC knocks it out of the park this year and I hope virtually every film that comes out this year is going to be like, this one was really good. Oh, but this one is even better. Well, that one's even better than that. That's what I hope to have because Marvel's got a pretty good track record for yeah. the most part with their films that people expect them to be good because they are good. Yeah. I'm hoping DC will like just knock it out of the parts. So the fact that they're releasing Batman, the Batman first as you know, the, 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 uh, yeah, that's you know, the, the first film point. I think of the DC films dropping first. Yeah. Right? It's coming out in March. So yeah. I'm hoping that that will kind of like set the standard. And then all of a sudden black Adam, the flash. And what was the other one? Oh, and uh, uh, Aquaman. Aquaman. Yeah, so. uh, I'm just going to tell you, it's Marvel's game to lose. It's Marvel's game to lose. There's no I chance. Like how you started that off, DC. Glenn. It's Marvel's game well, to lose. Yeah, it's Marvel's game to lose. There's no with with what they have built. Um, DC is going to be very hard pressed to catch up. Uh, only way that Marvel does that or that they do that is if Marvel shits the bed um, and and drops the ball in one of these movies, which I don't foresee doing because they did such an excellent job with Spider-Man. Uh, that's going to lead into Doctor Strange mm -hmm. and, um, you know, and then uh, Thor has always been great ever since they let. Did Taika you see TV Tessa Thompson's costume Ooh, picture I that did. leaked onto the Internet? Yes. 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 Ooh, DC ain't got nothing for that. DC Yo. ain't got nothing for that. King Valkyrie, she, uh, she could be my king any day. Mm. Yeah, Kiss and, the and ring, by huh? the way, they're calling it King Valkyrie, not Queen. FYI, I yeah, love it. About that. Yeah, King. She was, bro. She can hurt me any day, son. <laughs> is this your king? <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, that is my <laughs> king, Tessa. Mm. Yeah. So, so, yes. so, yeah. I think you're right, Glenn. It's it's yeah. Marvel's gonna lose, and I don't think they're gonna lose. But I think DC. I, my hope is DC steps up, and I think they yeah. will. From 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 what you're saying, Rob, too. They, with, what they look, they, it looks pretty good. The, here's what I will yeah. say the pathway for DC to do that is with an extremely well thought out, well done Flashpoint movie. Only way that they can do it. And from what I've seen, I don't think that that is what the Flash is going to be. With what, what we know of it so far? Yeah, just yeah. It, just the way that they released the the trailers, which weren't trailers, they were kind of like, oh, we think we got some footage. Like yeah. it doesn't seem like a coordinated, we know what we're doing type of blitz. You know, it's just kind of like, uh, maybe yeah. this will work. You guys, and like I this? have to say, with Black with the Batman, it looks great. I, I'm I'm still not pressed on Pattinson, uh, but even so, it's not canon. Yeah, that's it's who. Not, yeah. That's you know? it too. I, you know what? That's that's it right there, Glenn. It, it's not going to be with everything else. It's its own film. 
Yeah. yeah it's just I mean, thing. unless somehow they fucking blow our minds and have Robert Pattinson take over for Ben Affleck and then merge those into the new Justice League. If yeah. they somehow did that, that would be impressive. But I don't think that's in the cards. I don't think that's yeah. their plan. It's separate. I, I think Flash, Black Adam and Aquaman are all going to be connected. But yeah, but it, yeah. It may, Batman's your title, one of your title guys. So, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So there you go. DC versus Marvel. Yeah. That was an uh, interesting convo there, man. I, I'm curious. Uh, I think we may need to take that. Oh, we left out Morbius for the rest. They got of the- Morbius oh. coming, but that's Sony. But so does that yeah, you're right. Morbius the, is the, the appendix the of, the, Sony, though. of the films. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you know? it's like, eh. I, like, even if Marvel's losing, they still throw out this other little film that you're like, hey, what about if you like vampires? You know, then here you go. <laughs> speaking of Morbius, uh, Jared Leto, man, that dude, I mean, he's 50 now. That guy looks great for his age. So yeah. man, that guy looks seems like he never ages. So. Yeah. Um, you know, when I when I found out he was cast, I was like, isn't he a little too old for the part? But when I'm looking at the trailer, I was like, God damn, this guy is fucking incredible with what <laughs> he's been doing with himself lately. So yeah. I, I'm I am i am still curious about the movie. I, I want to check it out, but it's not like my like my top, top, you know, uh films of the year, but I definitely will check it out because it know, seems interesting. I can't wait to get through with all of this, you know, crazy pandemic stuff. So we could get back to doing like premieres and going yeah. to see these movies. And you know what I mean? Like, Bruh. cause there's so much great stuff. So, so much great yeah. content that's coming out. Yeah. Uh, and with all I the connections to... we have now too, yeah. with all these studios, yeah. man, and your boy wants to fly out, you know, brothers, remember the days I used to go to Pixar, bro. They used Disney? to fly your boy out. And now my team, I got y'all yeah, with dude. me. I could get y'all to come with me and shit. Like, Damn. bro, y'all ready? I'm ready. I'm on, Ready. son. Yeah. Ready. So, yeah, man. Ready. I, yeah. I'm so down for that. <laughs> so uh, let, let's go over some of the lists a little bit, and then we'll check out maybe a few trailers if they're available. So uh, we talked about the Marvel films. We talked about the DC films. Uh, we're getting a new, new Jurassic, uh, Jurassic oh, yeah. World Dominion. Yeah. We're getting that. We got a new Mission Impossible, Mission Impossible 7. Jeez. Oh, that is coming. <laughs> uh, Lightyear, Plus speaking about right Pixar. Now. We're getting uh you know Lightyear with the Chris Evans as you know Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> Is that how you bust her off? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another baby. <laughs> That's my wife. She'll tell you. <laughs> what do you think about the Jurassic? Are you guys over Jurassic films and, and no, Mission Impossible? No. What do you what do you got? What do you think about the Jurassic film and the Mission Impossible film? Jurassic, Are you over it? Are you still the Jurassic World? Into those? I'm not I, after the first one, the Jurassic World. I thought it was okay. I, it was good. Like I, I just wasn't like, oh my god, I got can't wait for the second one. And then when I, I haven't even seen the second one, was it called Fallen Kingdom? Is that, is yeah, that me called? neither. Mm-hmm. I have yet to see it. Um, not because I'm not interested. It's just that I, I have other things to do, and I'm like, I'll get to it when I can, and yeah. I can sometimes, and I just don't care to because I will, you know, you, I'll watch. You know, instead. it's all derivative, and there's something about the first iteration, first couple iterations of a mm-hmm. film that you're like mind blown to where yeah. now it's just like ah uh, yeah you know what i mean they, like they don't like the first one was great because yeah. it just blew our minds and the second one where they have like the rap i think the raptors came in the second one or was it the they were, they're both they were in the first one too like they were more so in the second one right like there they were they, yeah, they were more integral with like a, a, the story plot with the plot yeah. of the film but yeah 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 so i mean like that was all great and now it just seems like it's just kind of like uh, what else can we throw in? That's it's like we've been desensitized crazy. to all that stuff. Yeah, it hasn't, yeah. yeah. Like the, yeah. I remember the first time being a little kid and seeing dinosaurs. Yeah, like that was mind blowing. Yeah, the first joint, mind blowing. I, was, I saw that in theaters when it came out. It, you know, you know what I wish for all of us, um, and I should be careful because this is how a movie gets made. I wish we could relive seeing all of our favorite movies for the first time again. Like the first time I yeah. saw Into the Spider Verse, the first time seeing like yeah. Matrix, the first time seeing Avatar, first time seeing Jurassic Park, like first those Batman, moments, dude. The first Michael Keaton Batman, yeah, was so dude. epic. That was one of the most yeah. epic movies I remember watching. Is um, 1989 Michael Keaton Batman, dude. What about what about the first time seeing Endgame in theaters or Infinity oh, War in theaters, yeah. dude? Just like I wish you could bundle those feelings, those yeah. emotions, and like give them to someone or so. It's just it's so great. I remember when I cried during that that epic battle scene. Like when I saw that for the first time, I was I literally was like bawling. I, was like, I can't believe this is actually <laughs> happening. Like seriously, I was just yeah. in tears. I saw I saw like that's one of my favorite moments in uh, moments in cinema history. Where seeing that and then having that reaction, I was like, man, what, this is what, uh, Infinity War again. Or no, for Endgame. Endgame, yeah. yeah. No, Infinity, yeah, a hundred percent. Rob, totally agree. Yeah. But Infinity War, like when everyone started, like just like because it was just like. 
I don't know what I thought, but I didn't think Thanos was going to win like that. Yeah. You know, yeah, like, yeah, and then yeah. when he did, like, the slow realization, like, oh, damn, he snapped. And then people started slowly disappearing. I was like, oh. And then, like, when when Rocket is reaching out for, or Groot's oh, reaching yeah. out for Rocket, I started just tearing up. And then when Spider-Man is like, I don't feel so, I, like, I was like, <laughs> ah. yeah, yeah. And then you it just, what? like, ended. It's just, like, slowly, like, and it's over. <laughs> You're like, you know, you know what was uh, interesting though? When when Groot says, you know, I am Groot, and he's like fading away after Rocket, uh, um, I was a uh, uh, Rocket faded away too, right? No, Rocket. Oh, he was. was like, he was no, where? That's right. No, I'm sorry. You're right. He was there. So someone asked James Gunn because James Gunn is phenomenal when he's on social media because he answers everyone's questions. But he was like, "What does Groot actually say when he's saying, you know, I am Groot, Groot to, to Rocket?" He's like, he says. Daddy, and I was like, "Oh my <laughs> God, no, no, dude! I'm about to cry right now." Oh, dude, I was, I was like, fucking <laughs> tears, like, "Oh my God!" Yeah. I didn't think it was gonna happen, but you know, but just because when you learn these things, you know, even after the fact, it still, you still have that impact. Oh my God, like that's like, uh, this is why, like, fucking. Uh, the, the, the thing is that you know we, we talked about before. I think in the past, where like these are the guys that grew up reading this shit and that are are now making the movies and they're paying respects to the material. Mm -hmm. They're changing some things along the way, of course, for obvious reasons, but, but they're staying true to the essence of what these characters are and the overall uh, uh, journey that they're going through. Like it's, 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 it's like a, an accomplishment that I've always wanted to see. And the fact that I'm here to see that, like, Oh my God, like I've, I was telling my kid the other day, not too long ago, actually, I was like, you know, you are lucky to be in this day and age right now mm -hmm. to see this in its prime. Because, mm. you know, 50 years from now, when you're when you have kids, you're gonna be like, what was it like at that time? It's like, man, it was fucking ever. Your grandfather was crying like a bitch every time you saw a movie <laughs> shit like that. Because like, I'm like, I'm like, Bali, oh, my God, I can't believe I've seen this. You know, we're seeing five different bappings at all the same time. Oh, my God, this is incredible. We I, never in a million would ever thought I'd see this stuff. You know, we've got two bappings in one movie, one new one is coming out. So think about it. What Three bappings in one year, two in the same film, uh, one in its own movie. Uh, about, that's true. Yeah. yeah think yeah. about that. It's amazing. It's amazing. Things is incredible. So we live I in the best times right now. Love it. I love I'm it. I cry love right it. now, <laughs> dude. When you, yeah, dude. Why'd you so, bring that up? I had a tear in my eye now. Yeah. So uh, we we're getting another Jurassic World, uh, Mission Impossible. I, I'm kind of out of that series. So Mission so Impossible, getting, man. Getting a number seven. So that you're ready for it? Impossible Seven. Epic. Fuck yeah. Okay. I have all six of the movies so far right now. You know what? I actually am always surprised at how well mission impossible does it like yeah. like every time they come out with another sequel and i watch it i'm like that was actually that was really good i really yeah. enjoyed that yeah I'm you know with some it. sequels it's like ah, this is too much it's I'm like not too in a rush wait me. yeah it's in a rush or the plot is stupid or you know all this stuff and uh mission impossible is one of those ones it's always like that was really good that was yeah. that was fucking solid that was and smart they, that was cool they up anti every single time and it actually pays off whenever they do it so it's like think about it, that's one of the very rare films where that one was amazing. How are they going to top that? And they go, holy fuck, they topped that with this here? And then the next mm -hmm. one comes out. It's even more and more epic. So, yeah, I'm I'm all for this franchise for myself. All right. All right. So uh, for two comes this this year, Mission Impossible 7. Uh, another film. This one I'm kind of highly anticipating. Nope. Jordan Peele's Nope. Oh, yeah. With Daniel oh, Kaluuya, Stephen that. Yoon. Yes, we don't know man. too much about it. So I'm super intrigued because Jordan Peele's. I I'm a fan of Jordan Peele. I don't know about y'all. So I, uh, you know what? Him. I don't like horror, but I go to see whatever he has. Are you gonna see I'm Nope, like, bro? Yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> right. I don't like that type of stuff, but I'm I'm but love it when he does it. I love that I mean? poster that we get from the one that was released last year for yeah. as a TV. That was that fucking intrigued. The it's fuck intriguing, bro. So yeah. uh, I'm anticipating that film. Mm -hmm. uh, we got Nope. Uh, you brought it up, uh, Glenn Uncharted. Uh, that mm -hmm. looks great with Tom Holland and uh, Marky Mark. Uh, we have Don't Worry, Darling as a horror film. Bullet Train, another action film. Mm. Um, I'm going to keep going. Yeah. Fantastic Beasts. Uh, are you guys into the Harry Potter stuff in the Fantastic Beasts? Not really. Kind of no. took over for it. I'm yeah. not such a big into that. I haven't even caught up. I haven't even seen the first Fantastic Beasts. So yeah, right. oh. I think this is the third one, I think. Yep. Uh, yeah, there was two of them previously. Uh, Avatar is back. We're getting finally Avatar 2. Um, I think you mentioned that, Glenn. Uh, Avatar the Nave. And specifically. Yep. This one I'm confused on. We're getting a Mario Brothers film. With Chris Pratt uh, in that, oh, yeah. I, I don't know what to think about that. I Bob Hoskins know. will always be my Mario, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about Chris. I know he Pratt, hates that bro. movie, but man, that that was yeah. Um, that and Charlie Day is Luigi. Anya Taylor Joy is Princess Peach. 
Seth Dude. Rogen is Donkey Kong. I don't know. And Jack Black is Bowser. But you said I like Joe Jack Rogan, Black is Bowser. Joe Rogan is Donkey Kong? No, but Seth yeah. Rogen. Seth, oh, Seth Rogen as uh, Donkey Kong, bro. Wait, 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 wait. Time out. Yeah. How is Seth Rogen Donkey, Donkey Kong? Kong? It's, see, it's going to be a computer animated film. So oh, it's, no, it's, that makes sense. So it's, a, it's, a, it's an Illumination Green. animation movie. Yeah. Same guys that did uh, Despicable Me. And oh, Keegan-Michael Key's Toad. That'll be funny. Mm. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I like Chris Pratt as Mario, bro. I don't know. So Untitled Mario film uh, coming out at the end of the year. December 21st is the projected due date for that. Um, we have a David O. Russell project film starring Michael B. Jordan. Uh, Margot Robbie and Rami Malek and Christian Bale. Ooh, that looks amazing. Don't, don't know too much on that, but that's got a stellar cast. Ooh, John and John David Washington, Taylor Swift. That's going to be interesting. Uh, we have the Adam Project uh, with Ryan Reynolds and Jennifer Garner and Mark Ruffalo, Zoe Saldana. What's uh, that Adam? Is that is that isn't that a DC comic character? Uh, this is ADAM, the Adam Project. Mm. Uh, this, it's mm. not a DC film. It's going to be on Netflix. Uh, that film texas chainsaw massacre uh is i'm back. curious about this one nope we're getting a new texas chainsaw massacre i know glenn's gonna be the first in line because he loves <laughs> <Nope. horror> slashers <laughs> uh hocus pocus 2 are you a fan of the original hocus pocus i, I like that movie yeah they're coming fun. back that'll Stephanie be loves it so i i would uh also probably end up checking it out yeah yeah i think i'll check this one out uh the lost city we actually did a trailer a review on that one i think yeah. you and i did rob yeah, yeah. that looks cool yeah, uh, I was surprised by the Brad Pitt appearance in that. Same here. Uh, Turning Red is the next Disney Pixar film. Uh, we actually will be covering that on the channel and uh, hopefully have some interviews lined up soon. I've been talking to Pixar about that. So stay tuned uh, for Turning Red information. That's a new uh, animated uh, Pixar film. H Halloween ends. What, what do you think about that one, Rob? I know you're our, our horror guy. I, I'm curious. I After the way the other we one talked ended. about Halloween kills and now we have Halloween ends. So I'm curious. I'm so uh, intrigued. Have, I'm, I'm still going to And uh, it out. going along with remakes, Scream. What do you think about the Scream stuff, guys? Is that a remake? I thought um, it was a, like a it's more continuing like a continuing on 25 thing. years after Streak of okay. Brutal Murders. Yeah, so it's I'm, continuing on the franchise. I'm I am a huge I, fan of Scream, and I can't wait to see what they do oh, with the new one. Really, Glenn? Okay, so you there's certain you're, films you legitimately were, you're, really. Yeah, I, I uh, Nev Campbell. I had a huge crush back in the day. So did I. Aww. Yeah, I had a huge crush on her too. And she, she looks good for her age, still. Yeah, she does. So she still yeah, looks great. So yeah, Scream. We're getting Scream. Uh, the Northman. We actually did a review on that. Uh, me and yeah. Rob as well. That looks interesting. That looks really um, good. Got a, quite a few hits. So I think we, we, we're, we should do a some coverage on that. Rob, we should do more uh, of the Viking movies to react to. <laughs> some hits on that. Yeah. Wait, what did you uh, say, Rob? We should do more Viking films to react to. Right. <laughs> Because that got us some hits. Yeah. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. That's the big film that Glenn's looking forward to. Sonic Number the Hedgehog 2. In my book. Uh, Death on the Nile. Did y'all see the, the trailer for that? Uh, uh, Kenneth Branagh, Gal Gadot, Army Hammer, Letitia Wright. That looks interesting. It's a Disney film. Or, no, it's a 20th the, century I'm a, studio. I'm a little over Gal Gadot at this point. <laughs> a, little, a little too much Gal she Gadot. She posted something about being Cleopatra or something. I'm just like, yeah, she's right. supposed to play Cleopatra, uh, which was supposed to be directed by Patty Jenkins, and then she ended up stepping away. And uh, um, you both are wrong. She's not Cleopatra, by the way. This isn't what you're thinking is. So y'all, ha we'll have to check out this trailer. Then. But that was the tweet. She said, "I'm about to be Cleopatra." Did I read the? Yeah, tweet she's wrong? doing. There, she's doing a biopic Cleopatra film. Yes, but that's not this film. No, yeah, right, we right, know. Right. Yeah, we know. Yeah, we know. this is a murder mystery film. Yeah, no, I'm, this is I'm, equal I'm to just saying, uh, in general that made me be oh. like, all right, Gal Gadot. I'm, oh, oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. I get you on that. That's the sequel to uh, Murder and the Orient Express, right? I Nothing think so. It's it's yeah. of that same vein. Yeah. Is this film? I have yeah. not seen that movie. You, you you haven't seen this trailer, Death on the no, Nile. No, I, I, I haven't seen the trailer for that, but I have not seen the film Murder on the Orient Me Express. Neither. Did you guys see Murder on the Orient Express? Uh, so long ago, I can't remember it, but yeah, I think I saw the it original was star one. Studded, but it, but I didn't get around back to it. Um, keep, keep keeping the list going on. Moonfall with uh Patrick Wilson, Halle Berry, Kelly. Mm -hmm. U will actually be doing some coverage on this. I've already talked to the studio about this, so stay tuned on that. Uh, this looks like a, a great film coming out in, I think, February 4th. Yeah. Yep. Let's so stay on. tuned for our coverage on Moonfall. That looks pretty cool. Uh, Roland Emmerich, right, uh, yep. Rob? Roland I think Emmerich. He's the director on that. Uh, we have The Gray Man, uh, upcoming thriller with uh, uh, Roger Jean Page from uh, 
what was he on? He was on that one show. I don't know. Chris Evans is in it. Ana Dario Armas, Ryan Gosling. That looks uh, interesting. The Russo brothers are directing that one. What's uh, it called? Uh, the the Gray Man. Man. Yeah, it's a Russo brothers film. Yeah, it is a Russo brothers film. So that looks intriguing. Yeah. Um. So the Gray Man, that's drop in. We're getting a new Minions, The Rise of Gru. So if you're a fan of the Minions, we're getting some more Minions films. Uh, Knives Out 2. This looks actually pretty good. Did y'all like see the, the first, first Knives one. Out? Yeah, I saw the first. It was really good. Yeah. Really good movie. So super psyched on this one. It was it was, it was was good. And uh, Dave Bautista is joining the cast on this. Jessica yeah. Henwick, who we saw in Matrix Revolutions, is in this one. Yeah. Uh, Catherine Hahn, Ed Norton. Uh, I'm intrigued for that. Yeah. Uh, Blonde, a drama starring... Uh, I don't know who this is. Julianne Nicholson. Oh, Ana de Armas. Uh, oh, Ana de uh, Armas. Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe. It's a Marilyn Monroe biopic. Oh, that's finally coming out this year? Damn. Yeah. I saw that picture when she was on set. I was like, holy fuck. Yeah. She looks just Ooh. like her. Ooh. Yeah. Badass. Mm-hmm. Surprise. Top Gun Maverick. Uh, finally getting that. this. Uh, that's coming back. Uh, I'm intrigued by this one. Yeah. Shout out to Tom Cruise and Val Kilmer, who we know Val's had some issues. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you saw that Val doc on uh, Amazon Oof. Prime, yeah, that's man, good. feel so sorry for that guy. And uh, I'm happy to see that he's in the new film. So yeah. that that should be interesting. Top Gun Maverick. Um, Ambulance with Jake Gyllenhaal and uh, Yaya Abdul-Mateen uh, is coming out. We're getting that. Legally Blonde 2. Oh, no, 3. Legally Blonde 3. We're for real? Me. Legally Blonde, yeah. Oh, that should be interesting. Shit. I like the first For two. Real? I like the first two. Yeah, those are great movies. They were cool films. Yeah, cool films. I'm interested in that one. Holy crap, that's gonna be in my yeah. top uh, fifteen now. <laughs> <laughs> so that should be good. Uh, Puss in Boots is back with the three Diablos. Uh, so uh, get a new Puss in Boots film for the kids. Uh, but it looks like Diablos. they're doing the three Amigos with it. But they're the three Diablos. Don't even did this. I bet it's DC League of Super Pets, which should be quite interesting. Because this cast is amazing. Mm. You got Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. You got Keanu, uh, Ke- 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 uh, Keanu Reeves, Keanu. Kevin Hart, John Krasinski, Diego Luna, Kate McKinnon. Uh, just a stellar cast. Uh, so that should be interesting as the super pets, right? Uh, we curious. got the bad guys uh, with Aquafina, Sam Rockwell, Anthony Ramos, Zazie Beats. Sneakerella, which is kind of a mix on the Cinderella story. Isn't Aquafina in, in that with somebody else? What bad guys? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Craig bad... Robinson. That's who it is. Yes, Craig Robinson. I didn't go through the whole list. Uh Aquafina, Craig Robinson. You can't leave out my boy Craig, though, man. He's yeah. another comedian. He was on the He's far end like of the, the, the clicker here. <laughs> Listen, just so you know, Kuya P, anybody with my body type, you gotta mention. I love me some Craig Robinson, bro. <laughs> Have you actually seen Sexual Chocolate when he performs with as yeah. a band? Yeah. I've seen oh, him no, at the no. DC Improv, bro. Is, he really, uh, is it that like good? Like a couple heard, times at the DC Improv. About it. Fantastic. No, I miss it. Bro, back when they were touring, I, I, I saw them with Ebony at the Improv. Amazing. Sexual Dude. chocolate. Nice. So good. So much respect on that, Glenn, with your body type. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we also have uh, The Requin. Uh, it's a horror film with Alicia Silverstone. Shout out to Alicia Silverstone coming back yeah. out here with a horror film. Go Ooh, ahead, Alicia. Yeah. Um, that's come in. We have Hotel Transylvania, Transformania. Um, actually, we'll be doing coverage on that. I actually had a chance to watch the film already. That's coming out in a week or so, actually. Is that, that's um, an Amazon movie too, right? Yes. going to be on okay. Prime Video. Um, but what's interesting is uh, the voice of Dracula, uh, of Adam Sandler, he was replaced. Well, he didn't. Adam Sandler is not going to be in this one. Uh, yeah. There's a new actor voicing him. Uh, and actually does a decent job uh, in mm-hmm. that. Uh, so shout out to Hotel Transylvania. That's coming out and check out for our coverage on the channel. Uh, we got an Elvis film coming out. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Baz Luhrmann. Elvis film. Baz, yeah, Baz Luhrmann. Look at you. Rob is tuned in. <laughs> Tom Hanks is uh, Colonel Tom. Austin yep. Butler that you know from Riverdale will be Elvis. Um, there you go on that. We have a dog film that I know Glenn reached out to me. Not Glenn, but uh, Rob, you reached out to me about this one. Uh, dog with Channing Tatum. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So hopefully we'll get some coverage on that. Rob will be coming out for the channel. Uh, We got The Man from Toronto. That's a new comedy with Woody Harrelson and Kevin Hart. Oh, that'll be cool to see them two together. I've heard about that movie. Yeah, it looks sounds interesting. Mm, Okay. Haley Coco in there. That'll be cool to see them to interact. Uh, This one I'm super psyched on. I don't know if y'all are fans of this show, but I love that they're getting a a big film. Bob's Burgers, y'all. We're getting a Bob's Burgers. <laughs> I've never film. seen that show. I've heard so many good things about Shut it. Shut the I've fuck never up, Rob. 
I'm being serious. I've never Rob, seen the show. You're missing out, man. I know you like your uh, Simpsons, uh, but yeah. Are you a Family Guy person? I I have been watching in the last I don't know five six seven years, but I, I was Ooh. a fan of it. Yeah, but I've been out of the loop with the Family Guy and the Simpsons for quite some time. To be completely man. honest, Bosberg is. Awesome. I love the older shit though. Though that's what I keep going back to. Be honest. I see that yeah. Bosberg is on sites, man. That we're getting yeah. that. Uh, Marry Me with Jennifer Lopez and Owen Wilson. Oh, that's yeah. dropping this year. Jackass Forever. The Jackass Gang is back. I'm kind of psyched that. about that. Yep, we'll see that. It's shit I would never do. Yeah. <laughs> Although I've thought about it. I- I've thought about since Glenn is and I are local to each other about doing some jackass type stuff, but I don't think Glenn would be down. <laughs> I would be. So I was thinking that maybe Glenn would record it and maybe we could find some wackos to do some crazy shit with me since Glenn <laughs> wouldn't. But wh- I think too- there'd be certain stuff you'd do. Would you, you know do what we- Glenn? We're old, man. Anything that we do, <laughs> it, it could like lead to us being incapacitated. You right? do like, prank, like jackass auditions, get a bunch of like. I just want us to get hits. Up. I'm just thinking if we do some viral crazy shit that could get the hits. So <laughs> if you can at least record it, Glenn, and we can get some wackos to challenge me. I'd be down to do some challenges. We could, de- we could definitely we get like we could definitely to come discuss back it. and participate. Okay. In this. <laughs> I'm just trying to get us hits on the channel, y'all, to build up what we're doing. <laughs> Love it. Last looks uh, is a comedy with uh, Charlie Hunnam and Hunnam. Marina Baccarin and Mel Gibson. Oh, look at Mel back out there. Uh, Last looks is a mystery uh, crime comedy film. Harry Potter 20th anniversary return to Hogwarts. That's going to be on HBO Max and I guess coming to theaters as well. Um, celebrating that franchise hmm. operation fortune with jason statham and aubrey plaza josh hartnett you grant carry always oh, guy, guy Ritchie film yeah look yep. at before i even look rob already knows who that's at look yeah. at you rob rob is in tuned babylon with oh look at toby getting back out there who uh babylon with toby mcguire margot robbie samara weaving emma stone brad pitt I'm kind of happy to see Toby, you know, we, we saw him, you know, spoilers, no way home, him coming back Yeah. now to see him working again. I was just, cause it's been a minute since we've seen Toby doing some shit, right? Yeah. So, He's done some few independent stuff him. though along the way. That's true. But like, yeah. you know, it's good to see him getting out there again, man. Yeah. Uh, Redeeming <laughs> love uh, is coming out this year. Uh, Jeez, I don't know anybody. So much. There. Yeah, There's right. a lot, man. Everything, everywhere, all at once. By the time we finish with the list, it'll be like 2023, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, let me let me speed it up. You know what? You got me He's right. Like coming out. <laughs> There's a lot of indie shit up in this and list. Like, in 2024, we're gonna be getting uh, <laughs> Batman. You know, Batman this three hours ago. Batman Is there anything else released? major? You know what? You're right, guys. I'm glad you stopped me. There's not, I don't think there's any other bigger films other than that. We're getting a Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers movie. Oh my god! Don't, oh. don't even talk about that, man. Fuck this is great. Love it. Man, what the fuck? I'm Andy Samberg is Dale reason. and John Mulaney is Chip. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. There you go. That's our list. There you go. They should have just got Chris Chris Pratt. They probably would have had a better success. All right. So there you go. That's our list of 2022 films. Guys, let us know in the chat what films you're looking forward to that's coming out in 2022. What we should check out. Maybe do a reaction to it. Maybe do a review for it. Um, so let, let, I'm going to throw up a trailer that uh, Rob sent over. Yeah, because he wanted to see our reaction. So, uh, Glenn, let's check out this trailer from Rob. Uh, he wants to check us us to check out this film. It's called so, War Horse One. Oh, go ahead, Rob. You want no, to say? No, say yeah. So, so this is the movie that I, that's my most anticipated film of the year. Because uh, okay. like, I, I told you guys, where, like I, I'm a big fan of the director, the actor is going to be the movie who also co-wrote and direct, co-directed the film too. Um, you know, it's still in the working stages right now to get finalized, but I'm just curious to hear what you guys are all think about this movie because. I have a lot of confidence in this film. Hearing from what I've uh, hearing what I've been hearing from other people about the movie, I'm extremely excited for it. And I have a lot of high hopes, so I'm hoping you guys will probably get that same reaction too. So if not, then it's all good. <laughs> get it. Maybe it'll end right there. <laughs> all right, let's go. Let's check out this film from Rob Warhorse One. Let's check it out. Some heroes are real. You told me a story. Yeah. Story. What kind of story? Like superheroes. Superheroes, huh?
Johnny Strong. I like it. Oh, that's it? Interesting. That's it, yeah. Short and sweet. Yeah, short and sweet. So to, to get a little more context here, so that scene that you saw at the very end of the trailer where he's jumping up, so that apparently really did happen. So uh, William Coffin, who's the, who also co-wrote, this, uh, co-wrote directed this film, um, he was telling the actor Johnny Strong, and if you guys, are, if, I'm not sure if you guys recognize him, but he was in the very first and Fast and Furious movie. The, uh, if you remember that scene where in the beginning of the movie where there's a cop or no, sorry, a pizza delivery guy was like, hey, man, I got to get through this uh, street over here. And the guy's like, uh, take take another route, pizza guy or something like that. That's that guy. He was part of the main crew in the original film, but he never came back after the set of the, after the first film. And Ooh, he was I offered to come that. back to come back with the series. And he just turned him down. That guy, Johnny Strong, apparently gets a shit ton of offers and he's turning them all down. Really? When you, when you look at him, like he has that leading man uh, look. Um, so yeah, but anyways, I'm going I'm off a tangent, but the, the, the point is that this guy really did jump off the cliff, got into the water. And then there's, you see that white shot where you see a little speck of like a, a, a person in there. That's literally him being like rushed with the water. And then I don't know how they took him out of there, but it's, it, he had to convince everybody to allow him to do that because he wanted to be as authentic as possible to be able to capture, uh, you know, that, that, uh, that, that momentum that I guess what that character is going through in that particular scene. So that guy put in a lot of work into uh, making that film turn out as hopefully uh, I'm hoping and I'm confident it will be to turn out as, as epic as possible. And I really believe in my opinion that these guys got a masterpiece in their hands there because from what I've been hearing about the film is I have nothing but excitement for this movie. So yeah. I mean, what did you guys think overall though? I thought it looked kind of interesting. I, I like the angle that they were going with it. So yeah. um, I'm kind of interested to see what it turns into. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. I'm I'm mixed on it, uh, and here's why. And it's uh, nothing against the film. Um, I, I think in regards to what you're saying with Johnny Strong, I've heard about that guy. Um, I love that he wants to do his own stunts, kind of like a Jackie Chan, you know, like what yeah. we they do over in the Far East, you know, and and those guys that they do their own stunts and do a lot of choreography, stunt choreography. I love mm-hmm. that more American uh, filmmakers are doing that to yeah. to compete and and show that. Um, although. Be very careful because you know th- yeah. this is why uh, Hollywood trusts their stuntmen, and then yeah. that we're f- we're getting more actors that are also slash stuntmen t- to give more realism in the yeah. actual work to see that kind of done like that. So so mad respect there. Um, my thing is more of a uh, because I work in have worked in military and government, and then just being a person of color work in the U.S. and seeing these films, uh, being a child of the '80s, is I want to see less we get a lot of films that portray Afghans or other countries that just kind of always put them as the bad guy. Yeah. We I know, know there's saying. a much deeper thing rooted issue than that, that a lot of those people have been our partners and helped us. In, and mm-hmm. so I just don't want yeah. more films that add to the perspective that all people of other countries are the bad guy. Yeah. And, and a lot of yeah. times we're the oppressive force that came here and there that shouldn't have. And yeah, then change the dynamics of that region and country. There's there's a whole social political thing with that, and I just don't want more films that add to that. I don't. I'm not saying that this again. This is film is contributing to that fact. Yeah. It's just I'm kind of overdone with just films that will portray that and maybe confuse people that don't know the bigger picture. Yeah. And uh, you know what I'm saying. So and to me, I just feel like there's a glut of that. And again, I'm not saying that this film is adding to that or contributing to that, um, but it just. It feels in a way it does feel like a film I've seen before. Um, I do look, I'm intrigued by it. Uh, I, I want to see it. It looks great. And from what you're telling me stunt wise with that collaboration and, and the pedigree behind it, yeah. uh, I'm going to check it out. But from seeing it and the story concept, it, it feels done before. And yeah. I don't want it to add to the glut of films that, again, that portray the Middle East region as our right. enemy again yeah, you know yeah, what i'm saying yeah, yeah. or that I agree with you, too. you know I, we've had enough of that i want to yeah. see more collaboration films where we worked hand in hand with those cats to yeah. stop the oppressor and the bad guys you know what i'm saying yeah just stop p- painting these people as bad when we know there's a a, a lot more co- collaboration than negativity yeah, yeah. so i'm I, gonna leave that, it at that that definitely crossed my mind too. i'm not gonna deny that it really did cross my mind but i'm wondering that you know there's 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 so much about that movie that it's like top secret that um you know with what we're getting and we just kind of get an idea of what the overall story may look like but yeah. i'm sure there's a lot more that we're not that we're not seeing that as a, as the story progresses i'm trusting that they're, they're fully cognizant of that and they take that in consideration but you know i've like i said before i've 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 seen will coffin's movie and in this case now johnny strong co-directing here that 
you know, they're, they're really good about character driven stories in these, you know, heightened scenarios. So, you know, let, I'm, I'm going to give them the benefit of doubt when it comes to how they're taking that story, yeah. especially with dealing in, in Afghanistan, because I think it's where the story is taking place out of my mistake. And actually that just made me think and kind of like what the opening dialogue saying, are heroes real or heroes are real or yeah. whatever. I hope with what, the, like with what you're saying that maybe through the course of this film. So he's obviously, you know, telling kind of like his story that maybe yeah. we can also see that there's heroes on both sides. Yeah. You know, I'm hoping so, so too. Uh, yeah. yeah. So there you go. Uh, let me get off my soapbox, political soapbox <laughs> there. Cause I can dive into that. Um, another trailer that you uh, brought up, uh, Rob, uh, that we want to check out. That's a big film dropping this year. Again, going back to that DC Marvel convo, uh, you want to lead us in on this one, Rob? Yeah. So you haven't seen the trailer though, right? For this one. I think so, but I'm not entirely sure. I know okay, I saw well, one of them. I don't know if I saw, yeah. I know I got it because we were actually having a convo because we get things early <laughs> and I don't always get around to it and which could yeah. be a thing. So, so, uh, so I, I, cause you know, we've, we talked about the Batman because that's what we're going to be checking out here. Cause I'm not sure Glenn, if you saw the trailer for that one with, uh, that had featured Catwoman in there. No. Ringing any the bells. No. Okay, so I thought this would be a good chance for you guys, especially if you haven't seen it, uh, uh, Patrick, about this movie. This movie, man, the trailers are doing a phenomenal job when it comes to like building up that anticipation. And this movie certainly had done that. Oh, sorry, this trailer certainly had done that for me. So I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts after watching the first trailer and getting this one here now. See how what, you know where your level of anticipation has gone up here. So, all right, let's do this. Batman, the Batman, the Bat the and the Cat Batman. trailer. Here we go. Some Batmobile action. Bruce Wayne. I'm sorry. I wouldn't be bothering you here, but your people keep telling me you're unavailable. You know, you really could be doing more for this city. Your family has a history of philanthropy, but as far as I can tell, you're not doing anything. I love the shots. Yeah, same here. Matt Reeves is a pretty dope filmmaker. The Riddler is asking for you. He's very artistic. The killer left this for the Batman. Why is he writing to you? You came. I've been trying to reach you. Oh, interesting take on the mask. Yeah, there's yeah, that same here. There. It's all about the yeah. Waynes. If we don't stand Boy, up, ripped. no one will. You got a lot of cash. He's so fine. I have a thing about strays. I think the bat was. The bat and the cat. Nice ring. New friend of yours? I'm not so sure. I'm just here to unmask the truth about this cesspool. Interesting take on it, man. You're Same. part I of think this it's... too. Hands up! Stay still! How am I part of this? Cur I'm curious why they never show his face. Oh, you're really not as smart as I thought you were. Bruce Way. All these years. Lied to me, Alfred. That part got me very curious. Scars, Bruce. He's still away. He's involved in this? No, he's not involved. How do you know? Except for Delaney. Who are you under there? Mm. What are you hiding? Selena, don't throw your life away. Mm. Don't worry, honey. I got nine of them. Mm. <laughs> it can be cruel, poetic, or blind. But when it's denied, it's your violence you may find. Oof. Justice. The answer's justice. Come on, vengeance. Let's get into some trouble. There we Damn. go. Just busted a nut right now. <laughs> Yo, what I like about ah, it, I think my I dog likes it too because she barked. <laughs> is uh I, I don't know if you guys played the Arkham Asylum, Arkham City. Uh I played games. one of them, but I don't remember I when it was. Freaking love those Arkham games. And it, I feel like we're getting the Batman Arkham games done as a movie. Um, seems that way. And yeah. uh especially with the Riddler stuff, because that's what they kind of had as uh parts of uh, the, the first two games uh, going around getting all the Riddler uh, traps and figuring it all out to get all like all of his little uh, uh, trophies and stuff. Um, 
and yeah, the only questionable thing is Pattinson, man. Um, he, he's been a decent enough actor here and there, but he's a good just, actor, man. His body type, though, is just. <laughs> I, I think I could take him, yo, and I don't feel I should be able to take Batman. You know what I'm saying? Like when I feel I could take Batman, that's a problem. I don't know, but man. The fighting scenes look pretty badass, so yeah. I, you know. Like like a, a he looks like a twig, ass. man. Yeah, and he he does look good in the suit. You know, it's just yeah. like, but I feel I could take him. And Batman seems it needs to be a little bit more imposing than that. That's my only problem. You know, so like yeah. I hate to feel dis- disrespect my man like that, but you know, yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> nah, can imagine, so, I can so. imagine him watching in the movie. Then I can just kick this guy's ass right. You know now. what I'm saying? I could kick Batman's ass. <laughs> Glenn could take Batman. Glenn. It'd be well, funny I if Robert Pattinson right behind could take you Batman, too. Straight up, I think all <laughs> like three back of us. In the day. Could, now I'm getting could older. Take I don't think I could take anybody, dude. I think I'm. <laughs> bro, Glenn, you could take Robert Pattinson, bro. <laughs> you could square up with Rob, bro. If, if I'm losing, could. I'm definitely going to bring up Kristen Stewart and and. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I know you, Rob. I know you could take Robert Pattinson, bro. Come on, man. Uh, no. We may be old men here, but I think we could take Rob. And you know, again, I hate to throw shade on my man, but yeah, he just I don't know. He's just not. I don't know, man. Size. I think I, I think he looks for, legitimately bro. good for the part. I, I was he I was actually really suit, I was rooting man. for him. I, I'm rooting for him in this movie. I think he look, he's going to do some really great stuff for this film i, I'm, I would just I, love if they like you know made this part of the universe you know yeah yeah, yeah. so there we go like it's gonna the- be a, a, like because we haven't ever gotten the real riddler except for that batman and robin the george clooney one yeah. no that was just uh batman forever yeah i think that's the only time t- jim carrey with mm-hmm. uh, clooney right wasn't he yeah. against no was that- he was with val kilmer in that one so that's the only time we got a rendition of the Riddler in a Batman movie. Or really the Joker, if you want to think about it, because that's what he was. Mm, okay. Yeah. He, was, he was like, hey, well, that's the Joker. That's not Riddler. But, you know. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So. But it looks like an Arkham. Did you play the Arkham games, Glenn? I didn't. No. no? Oh, those games are great. I would highly recommend those Arkham games, guys. Oh, my. Shit. I, there's so much to get to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so any other trailers you want to talk about before we uh, talk about some fun clips to close us out? Mm, no. No, nah, that's you. you All right, so well, uh, man. Throughout the year, we'll 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 bring it it's in. Been uh, eighty-four years. <laughs> Kuya P. We'll bring those up. <laughs> so uh, why don't we? You took you bring in your clip, uh, Rob. First. Oh, out. okay. So uh, I'm a I'm a big fan of prank calls. I love them, but I also love it. But it's it's funny when you when you prank when you're, you're getting someone to be a part of a prank call without them knowing it, and then they catch on. And that part is like that's just icing on the cake. So, um, so I think I think this might be in Australia, or I can't really tell by the accent, but I think it might be in Australia or possibly New Zealand. I'm not really too sure, but uh, it's a guy who's uh, told he has to call a customer with a name that he doesn't catch on right away. So you have to play close attention if you want to turn up the volume, so that way you can hear what they're saying. So I hope you guys get a kick out of it. All right, here we go. Hello? Hey, how are you? Yeah, I'm not Hey, is Tufak available, Mr. Tufak? Yeah, I'm looking for Mr. Tufak. <laughs> no? I'm looking for someone. Rob to license stop. branch of humor. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. wrong number. I'm sorry. Okay, bye. Oh, that's so fucking funny. Brother got played. Yeah. Brother got played. So a prank within their prank. Said, that's hilarious. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry, wrong number. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You got to love how polite he is too with it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> It's funny too because the guys ah! like laughing while the customer's still there and they're throwing shit at him. I think it's hilarious. That's like that's like one of like the perfect scenarios for me because yeah. um, no one got hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Glenn, how yeah. about your clip, man? Bring us into your uh, clip to close. Oh, so uh, I've been perusing the internet um, and I think that this might be a new avenue that we might go into oh, uh, really? and start interviewing some of these uh, some of the the people who have had some youtube success or some tiktok success okay uh, don't mind rob just yawning through my introduction here <laughs> <laughs> i 
after after uh, KP went over through like the the entire 22, 2022 and twenty twenty three roster, got a little got a little winded. Sorry, like, guys. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so there's a, a ton of uh, creators who go out there and they do they have like little skits and clips, and I am uh, in awe of these these young guys who are creating such amazing stuff. So the clip that I have is of a guy sampling a song and this is right up our alley because it's nerds rule the world. He's uh, actually watching One Piece, which is a which mm. is a um, anime yep. and he and he makes a dope ass rap song to this anime uh, One Piece. Uh, but he's got a great style. Uh, his name's Keats did it. I'd love to interview him for the channel along with some other of Let's these other happen, creators bro. like RDC and o- other people, uh, oh, which yeah. I think uh, might be my New Year's resolution to get to interviewing some of these people. Do uh, it. But anyways, so this is his uh, his track that he made off the One Piece One uh, Piece um, uh, anime. Do we have to know anything about One Piece? Because again, I I'm the Asian that doesn't want to just fall you don't into the animation. Like you know, I don't know anime. nothing about One Piece. It's a it's an anime um, that is pretty uh, popular, I guess. In uh, I want to say either Japan or Korea, okay. um, and he and you'll you'll it's see it when you watch it. You, I like you it. Get the, you oh, get so the you guys know it, One Piece, even if you don't know mm-hmm. One Piece. Yeah, I'm okay. familiar with it. I've heard of it, but I've never seen it, so I don't yeah. know nothing about it. Here we go. But I'm intrigued. Let's check this out. All right, share. Let's do you. What's up, bro? What you watching, bro? Oh, this? It's just some old One Piece episodes. I'm making a beat right now, so I'm just chilling. One Piece? It's been a minute since I watched that. Yeah, they got like a thousand episodes now. I'm rewatching Sky Pia, though. Bro, it's quality, too. Did you not just hear that? Bro, hear what? Bro, just go back like 10 seconds. All right, fine, fine. You hear that? You talking about the episode break? Yes, bro. Take that, slow it down, and loop the trumpets. You're wilding. All right, give me like 20 minutes. A few moments later. <laughs> hey, yo, it's done. Bet. That's mean, bro. I'm at they just start happening. Like, what? what? Go ahead, Glenn. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, Keats. Feel like I'm on the sunny on some shit. The old yeah. niggas popping to it. Yo, in the studio, I'm cooking, gotta call me Sanji. Hit you with the four, oh five, my God, for the amazing. top three. I like a movie, making movies, and you gotta watch me. I got used to meeting groupies while grocery shopping. Mm. I got used to making moves with some niggas that's popping. Writing verses in my phone, seeing your message request ping. Cotton money went direct to my sensible rap needs. Now this TikTok goof is exactly what yeah. rap needs. I don't put no brakes on. I be riding through your city, dirty with no plates on. I don't fuck with Jake, but no disrespect to State Farm. <laughs> Niggas in my hood trying to find out what they stayed for. Had the sentence on me, now the rent is always paid for. Fancy with the skincare, cause I'm getting laid more. You think it's a hobby, <laughs> but I'm rapping like it's paid chores. You could send your tape, chances are I'll probably hate yours. Cause I'm the captain, got my own fleet. Shorty at the crib, waiting on me. I'm living day to day, this the real me. I've been making deals, they wanna sign me. Cause I'm the captain. Captain. Got my own crew, got my own squad, make my own news. I did it on my own, made some real moves. I'm the wonder child, man, I can't lose. Yo, been writing okay. scripts, no Sounds people like you rapping about the IP, don't you? Into the studio, <laughs> like, I'm constantly working All right, man. Yeah. If I go away, just know that so I'm like that with blind folks. He the anime oh, into it. I thought it was a dildo I mean? he had on his the head. the anime into it. And uh, he has this really great uh, short film that he made um and it's about um basically like all the streaming services basically as if they are people um and and it's it's a really great short film you got to watch it uh is it on youtube yeah you you got to do it it's uh keats did it k e a t s um did it (laughs) (laughs) yo let's make that interview happen man i think i've seen some other clips from from some other stuff so, of the TikTok, there's, so there, yeah, that. there's a there's a bunch of cats like that who have they have big followings, um, yeah. and they do great work, they do great things, and I'm like, man, why, you know, why not talk to? We talk to all these other people who already right. get press, 
Why not oh, talk yeah. to other people who don't get press? You know? Oh yeah, bro. Let's, let's reach out, man. Let's make that happen in 2022. Said it's like Keats it. did it. How do you spell that again? Uh, K E A T S D I D I. Uh, okay, I found it. Yeah. So watch. Yeah, watch the short film, Rob. I'd love to. You know, pick your brain of what you're what you're thinking about it too. Uh, Kuya P, watch it. You know what I mean. Okay. We can rap about it as well. Yeah, and let's reach um, out. Let's get him on the show. Let's talk to him. Let's holla yeah. at him. But I think I like uh, it. all of this stuff. It was amazing. I'm, yeah. I'm with it. I'm with but it. Yeah, what y'all like think? That. Did y'all enjoy that? Oh, mad respect. I love yeah, these I did. man. Some of these young heads and the energy and what they can take. You know, that was a sample of that. Like, boom, literally yeah. a sample. And then they turned it into some shit, right? But also, like, the, the fact, you know, that he you get to see the creative process. Like, yo, did you wait? Did you hear that? And then it's like, what are you talking exactly. about? It's like, yo, the trumpet, you wallet. Like, nice. Like, yeah. I got some brief inspiration out of just watching that, bro. Straight there up. There you go. Like, maybe like, man, you know what? What are some joints he said, I've he said, heard? He said brief. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boom, turn it into something. So I, I love that. I love that. All right. For me, my, my quick clip to close this out. I heard all about this on the internet's. Uh, Elmo supposed to have. Uh, I don't know if y'all saw, it, but Elmo became like a big viral sensation again uh, this oh, early yeah. bit of 2020, 2022. Um, mm, so I don't know if man. you saw this, uh, Glenn, Rob. You, you're shaking your head. You didn't see this. I mm. haven't watched this at all yet. I just heard about it. So let's see what uh, makes Elmo so big in this early stage of 2022. Oh man, I've let's seen it. It's hilarious. Let's check this out. Here we go. That's Elmo's favorite. Oh, Gabby, can Elmo have an oatmeal raisin cookie instead, please? Oh, gee, Elmo, that was my last one. Oh, that's okay, Gabby. Elmo will just take this one. No, no, no. Wait, wait, Elmo. What? Rocco says that he wants the oatmeal raisin cookie. Rocco? Rocco's a rock, Zoe. Rocco won't know the difference. Yes, he will. <laughs> you can't have that cookie, Elmo. Rocco wants to eat it. How? How is Rocco going to eat that cookie, Zoe? Tell Elmo. Rocco doesn't even have a mouth. Rocco's just a rock. Rocco's not a so that was it. That's hilarious to me. I don't think y'all understand. I, I don't more, think I'm understanding because I also heard clips. Glock responded. The no. Rock, Dwayne Johnson responded to this. Yeah. Well, because so it's been fill all, me in, Glenn, because I'm lost. Okay. So it's been all over the internet. There's that clip, but then that uh, the other Muppet, Zoe, keeps coming around with this rock. And every time they're trying to do something, uh, Zoe's like, sorry, Rocco wanted to do it. Like, like, like uh, Elmo was supposed to count down. And then uh, Rocco, like she, she uh, does a ventriloquist thing and makes Rocco say the number that Elmo was supposed to say. And Elmo's like, I wanted one thing is to say the number and Rocco says it. I'm like, I'm oh, tired of this. Oh, I think I saw that clip. Yeah, yeah I, know, so, I know what you're talking about now. So yeah, like, yeah. so Rocco basically has been the bane of Elmo's existence <laughs> and uh, he's just been going off on it. Like, and then that was kind of like the, you know, the, what you call it? The um, epitome of him being super upset. Like, like how, tell me how, how's Rocco going to eat? So, he's not even alive. He's so Elmo became an how? asshole then. <laughs> The sweetest little and guy out in the what's world. So big right now, but it's funny because so many people are, are they're just understanding like Rocco's frustration with basically a crazy person who's like, no, this is my pet rock. It's like it's it's not a pet. It's not real. It's literally just a rock. And uh, that's what's making it so viral right and now. And that's I'm, everybody. And then with getting... Rock chiming in, Dwayne Johnson and yes, everybody. And yes, I think Cookie Monster put out something. Yes, the Rock. Yeah. The Rock is going to Sesame Street. There's going to be a whole thing. <laughs> uh, but Elmo is he's incensed and he's not happy about it. He gets so, like there's so many clips of him dealing with this chick, this uh, Muppet <laughs> Zoe. I said chick. My bad. <laughs> it's 2022. I got to drop that language. Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> He's he's been dealing with Zoe for so long and this rock and he just he's at his wits end because like there he wanted the oatmeal cookie, which is his favorite. And she's like, no, this rock. And he's like, how? How's it going to eat it? It doesn't have a mouth. How? <laughs> <laughs> OK, now just then I got it a little bit, but still, what the fuck? Just so imagine, just imagine shit is now become a viral thing now. It's like it's not clip. clicking with me, but I, I get it though. But it's not it's really just like, just like to me, it's funny because it's just like if you ever know someone with like a imaginary friend or something like that, like, a, yeah. you know, where you have to basically um, be part of their delusion. And you're like, I don't want to be a part of your delusion. I've no, never had I that don't. problem. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. OK, I. Saw all this. I talk like how you yawned again. It looks like you're having the problem right now. <laughs> Every time we say so, you're just like, oh. <laughs> I'm still thinking about the catalog that he feels. wrote over. 
I know, right? Rob, We're that's how Rocco man, feels. Rob. He wants to yawn about He's it. He's not real. He's not real. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I'm just waiting for him to like, uh, start cursing. I'm in. I said, fuck that, Rob. And you kick his ass out right now. I'm yeah. waiting for him to do that one day. <laughs> I need Stone Cold uh, to come out and join the conversation. Yeah, again. I think he will. <laughs> just crazy. All right. That I yeah. didn't understand that. I still slightly, I said it, I said I get it better I with, with, with Glenn's last commentary there. But it's, uh, what? There's just more clips of Rocco being, or Elmo being upset with Rocco and just being like, I, like, I can't take it. <laughs> All right. Well, well, Glenn, why don't you close us out? How can they reach out and get leveled up like you just leveled us up uh, just then? Check us out, Level Up Comedy, uh, levelupcomedy.com. Um, and Blurred Dad Podcast. That's the other thing that we're doing. Glenn Lawrence Comedy, if you want to laugh a little bit. Uh, I shut it down a little bit for the last year, um, but I will be coming back with some new cool uh, stuff probably this year. And then you'll see me here on the new release Wednesday or uh, Nerds Rule the World channel. Um, so check us out here. You know what? I, that, you know what? To add to that, any goals 2022 for you? Uh, out, we talked about films and stuff. Any big things you're trying to do with us in the channel? Just trying year? to survive, dude. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to no. kill his computer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what I, I, I would I really hope you like... and I can see more people at shows and cons once we, sure. we're out of this pandy. Um, that you and I go and collab. I miss you and I collabing at shows, bro. Yes, right? absolutely. Yes, 100%. That is a, a major key. For I'm just going to throw that in there because I, I miss you doing that shit with you, bro. Absolutely. Um, and then the, the other thing is, like I said before, connecting with some of these other uh, influencers and, and people uh, online and just kind of cross pollinating um, and, you know, just really knowing kind of what we do, um, you know, in that respect. And then I, I really want to get back into my stand up bag, like really get back mm. into being on stage a lot um, daily getting into shows, uh, you know, big shows, all that type of thing. When I want to ramp up and get back to that. So 2020 take off year for comedy. <laughs> I want that. I want that for you, bro. And I want to add to that. You and I've been talking filmmaking, getting back into our filmmaking acting yes. bag, bro. Yes. If anything, Ooh, at man. least some short films or some shit, you know, Yeah, man, I mean, let's make know, that happen. Uh, it's just been, it, there's just been so like much. And I, I feel like there's some projects that I, that I bit off like way too much. And I'm just like, oh man, now I got to figure out how I'm going to do this. You know what I mean? Like, how can that's, I, that's all uh, party experience. Make all this happen, but makes I, you a better I, filmmaker. Well, I, I had an existential crisis. Cause I'm like, I'm, I'm 40. I should be putting out avatar by now. <laughs> people are telling me that's not, you know, just do what you do. But I, I'm like, no, I'm 40. I should have been co-directing cool. avatar too. Damn it. Exactly. I should Ryan Coogler's doing black Panther too. And I'm yeah. doing a low budget, no budget, you know, whatever. New budget. That, <laughs> it's going to anyway. happen for us, man. All in due time, brother. Yeah. But I, I'm I, I'm hoping some of these goals are going to align and we can make this shit happen. Yeah. So, Rob, how about you? How can they reach out to you? And what are some of your 2022 goals with uh, the show and the channel? And you're so cool and all of that, too, bro. Well, so as far as social media is concerned, you all can follow me on Instagram, Rob underscore Medina 0585, Twitter, Rob Medina 0585, and on Facebook, Rob Medina. And then the show, social media accounts, uh, You're So Cool with Rob Medina on Instagram, and then on Twitter, You're So Cool WRM. Um, as far as goals are concerned, you know, I, uh, I'm more, I kind of, I'm more internal. Like I'm looking at ways to improve on the craft. So videos, um, interviewing, you know, speaking, things of that nature, because um, I realized that I've gotten, a, I, well, I don't I want to like toot my own horn or anything like that, but I think I've gotten a, a lot better. Um, still a lot of ways to go. I'm not denying that, um, you know, I'm like, I'm great. I'm just that I've noticed I've gotten better. And I'm like, okay, so I've, I can focus more on this. I've, I've putting them I've reps in, brother. Them yeah. Reps so in, like we've been talking about. So as a result of that, I want to be able to like start networking more often now with a lot more people because i feel like i've gotten better with that as well to to an extent and i'm still working on it as we speak but um you know as far as the you know one of my main goals as i already told you before in the past is that i want to make the channel grow i want the channel to get bigger and bigger and bigger mm -hmm. and you know if i can contribute in any way or shape or form to add on to that to keep getting the channel go bigger that's really my main goals but as far as my own goals within the confines of the channel you know i want i want uh you're so cool to have more guests and I, and I don't like to like look at it as in terms of like you know high caliber guests i want to have guests who are interesting and i want to be able to help start you know with adding on to bring more awareness to who they are and what they're doing and you know shine a light to them and point out that you know yes we have big films but 
they can handle themselves. Let's talk about these little guys here. And I hope to see them grow from that. So, you know, those are my goals for the channel and for myself, I meant to say, um, and I want to see more movies in, in, in theaters. You know, I want I want us to be able to interact. I want to actually meet you guys face to face. I want to like Real talk. That was going to be one of the things I wanted to add on to this, bro. Yeah. Once you were done is for us to finally link up in person. Yes. You know, like mm. Glenn and I are my, our partners here locally in the area yeah. doing shows. Yeah. And like I was telling him, I want him and I to do that more. But yeah. if Glenn and I can head down to like to see you at Heroes Con or any North yeah. Carolina shows, or, up in North, or even up if in you come Virginia. up here, brother, yeah. and join mm-hmm. us uh, and we can all tandem. Bro, yeah. you can stay with, with your boy here at Casa Strange Manor, right? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Where You're I, welcome where to I, stay with your boy. Didn't I just see you uh, like not too long ago? Like, didn't we hug like not too long ago? Didn't I? Who, you and Patrick? Yeah. You and I? I don't yeah, know. I hope you did. If, I feel like it's been forever. Didn't we, Glenn? I thought we met up like not too long ago. Like I do. We I feel we like it's been forever, to be honest with we you. We went to the movies together. We did? What movie? Oh, yeah. You guys did see a movie together. I think you guys saw, uh, this is like in the fall, wasn't it? it might have, what movie was it? Uh, Shang-Chi. Oh, we saw Shang-Chi together. That's right. We saw Shang-Chi together? Yeah. Yeah, you guys, we talked about that in the episode. Joint. You guys were you you talked with advanced because I saw it with Ebony and um, Madison. Oh, you joined me in in Madison at the screening. Yeah, yeah, at that's Tyson's. What you did that's yeah, bro. But mm-hmm. I feel like it's been forever. Yeah, when was Shang Chi? Like that was September. like September. September. Was it? Yeah, yeah, that's September. When it came out. Yeah. yeah. Damn, you really forgot your shit, bro. Damn, I feel bro. like it's been forever since I seen you, Glenn. How long you been on that beach, bro? <laughs> I know, right? I need to be, but no, nah, we need. But again, we need these connections again that we're missing because of this pandy. Yeah, yeah. So I can't wait for Glenn and I to get together, and then Rob to have that interaction. Whether yeah. we're down there with you or you're up yeah. here with us, yeah, uh, that's what's something I'd like to see happen in 2022. Yes, um, I see happen, nothing yo. but the best for you, Rob. With you're so cool, and I know you're gonna get an even longer list. You're, you're, you're you've been putting those reps in. Yeah. I feel you. You know, you you and I've talked. Yeah, I think you're, you're, you're it's going to grow even more. We, you got the love that with everybody that's been on already. So I see that happening um, on your filmmaking standpoint. You did do a little film with your son, you know? Yeah, I've done a, a few lot, shorts. Glenn and I were talking about doing films. Are, are you yeah. interested at all doing more with that? With your Absolutely. Son? I, I'm just trying to figure out like w- w- what capacity I want to actually uh, get involved with, because I'm like, I, I want to do this. But do I really want to do it? No, I want to do more of this because yeah. I, I feel like I'm more I'm, b- I'm a better producer in that respect. Because I feel like I have ideas, and yeah. let's try to bring the people together. And then if I want to, if I need to jump in, I, that's when I feel like I'm, I probably would serve best because I, I'm not, I'm not too confident with myself as like directing. Because that last film that I did directed, that was right off the cuff, and then it took with, with, with the help of my son that we really try to make it as as uh, cohesive as possible. And it turned out to be pretty funny. If you haven't checked it out, it's, uh, what was it called? Something I forgot what, what the movie was called that we have uh, that I, we did last year. But um, it's a funny little movie. But yeah. um, yeah. But it'll be cool to have more of NRW short films on the channel. Yeah. You know, so you're I'm dropping some. Me and Glenn hopefully yeah. can knock yeah, some dude. out. Um, I just got to figure out what I can cool do to make just it add some other kind of content. Yeah. Hopefully on the channel this year. Uh, we're going to split up. Hopefully have a younger uh, uh, video game show. We'll yeah. have these weeklies. Hopefully Loy will be on here with us. Yeah. Um, hopefully more Kui and the kids with me and Loy. Um, us getting together. Um, I, I want to. Actually, that reminds me. Uh, Bubba Fett. The new book of Bubba Fett. Mm. Um, uh, I know I'll be recording that, uh, covering one and two with Heather this weekend. If you guys are watching that and want to join us, we'll have coverage of episode one and two of book of Bubba Fett, but, um, yeah, a lot more reviews and stuff with all our collaborations and studio partnerships, uh, coming up, but more, more of the same. And hopefully some new shit is uh, what y'all can expect. Uh, for me, it's the legend Kuya P on Twitter, TikTok, and IG, um, of course, show pal show and here at the NRW new release Wednesday nerds rule the world. And yeah, more shit yeah, nice. from, uh, from your boys. Glenn, Rob, your boy Kuya P. Y'all ready to get up out of here? Let's do it, I man. All right, y'all. Make sure y'all Before follow, subscribe, asleep. all of that on the channel. <laughs> we're getting tired, y'all. We're old men. All right. Old That's men my curfew right now. We're going to still bring it. I would, I would, I wouldn't rather do it with anybody else, though, man. Y'all are great. I can't wait. 2022. I'm hoping yeah, it's going to be a great year for it's. It is going to be a great year for us. Yeah. We're going to have an amazing year. Um, can't wait to get started and, and make it happen. Make it pop. There you go. Speak it into the universe, y'all. Oh, hey, Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, y'all. We're out of here. This is. <laughs>